everybody. Welcome to Mindfulness Mondays with Nazima, the Barefoot Butterfly here at the Barefoot Butterfly, essentially my happy space. Um, so I missed you guys last week and I'm really sorry about that, but it was because I was going through something really exciting in my life. I was transitioning and I'll tell you more about it. So for those of you that don't know, apart from being the barefoot butterfly, and that was something that I used to do uh, during my spare time, weekends, after working hours, I was actually working um, I had a, a day job in sales um, and it's something that I've been doing you know for various in various industries various companies and um, let's just say that um, the opportunity had presented itself and it was sort of building up for a while for me to exit out of that space and move into my passion my purpose which is the barefoot butterfly just doing what I love doing which is reflexology and massaging my clients like touch is just so important and just holding that space and helping my clients um, through personal mentoring through their chakra system, teaching meditation, helping them manage burnout and stress. Um, and what I could say what the loyalty from myself um, of just doing, of believing in myself and continuing with Barefoot Butterfly work and with my clients and I call them my soulmate clients and that is because um, ever since I started this journey, I would always say the barefoot butterfly, your soulmate to wellness. And by actually doing that, I have just drawn in the most beautiful souls to work with. Um, and you can see we meant to be working together, so they're my soulmate clients. So with the consistency and the loyalty of my soulmate clients, I have been placed in the position to say, hey, I can do this full time. So last week, I was uh, training my replacement for the day job and I released that with such love and gratitude because it did serve a purpose and I met the most beautiful beings. So this is actually what I want to talk about and it's talking about letting go and making space and how to do that because it's such an important tool to have in, in your life that can benefit you in so many ways. So how it works is in our day-to-day -day lives and over the years we accumulate stuff. We accumulate um, whether it's clothing, emotions, stuff, you know, things that we don't use most of the time. And when our space becomes cluttered and dingy, um, it becomes difficult for us to stay grounded, to stay mindful to your our intuition, to your thoughts. Um, and uh, it's not healthy for our well-being, you know, physically and mentally. So if you adopt the belief and the practice uh, of continuously letting go and sort of doing a decluttering process or a spring cleaning process you know whether you want to do something massive or whether you want to just choose um, a particular room you know a month or a week or whatever feels right for you but it's basically going through your living spaces your workspaces mentally emotionally and as you release something so for example at home you could go through your clothing and just make an honest assessment of what it is that you wear will you ever wear it again you know we sometimes keep leftovers and we don't actually eat it and it goes to waste or perhaps at work you have uh uh, let's say files that are just not uh, documents that are not filed properly or accounts that have been closed but we haven't archived it but it still has it's still taking up space it's still sort of an active it has an active energy in our space that's not serving us so once you let go of it or you pack it away and you release it um, you do it with the intention and and this is what I like saying I like releasing it and saying um, I'm releasing this it has served its purpose and i am making space for something new and amazing to come into my life um and as you go through it whether you give someone food 
or clothing uh, or a piece of furniture that you no longer use or books that you no longer read um, just do it with the intention that you are making space for something new and exciting to come into your life i promise you you will experience remarkable remarkable transformations when you do this um, and that is basically your your task for this week um, so go through your living spaces workspaces release with gratitude because it has served a purpose and um, and just make space for something amazing to come into your life and that is the practice oh and what I also wanted to say is that when you do that it will actually help with your uh, mental state you will feel a lot lighter a lot grounded um, and things will be a lot clearer in terms of our card that I picked this morning it is so synchronistic it is called simplifying your life and the message is so your affirmation is, I cherish the simple pleasures of life. And it says, focus on what is important to you and let everything else go. Scan all areas of your life and clear out the internal and external clutter. And you'll experience remarkable transformations. Rest and rejuvenate, do what matters and release whatever is left. The universe wants you to know, to clearly hear messages from spirit you need to simplify. It says, if you are always busy and have accumulated much more than you need, you might have a lot of static. And this can make it a challenge to hear the voice of your creator. So you need to remove those things from your schedule that don't move the life forward. Then go through your living and workspaces room by room and clear out the clutter. Additionally, be sure to take time to clear any mental clutter. It says, calm your mind and simplify your thoughts. The smallest amount of clutter clearing, both internal and external, can make a huge difference in your life. So questions to journal on. What can I clear out of my life that will enrich and empower me? What blocks me from simplifying my life? And what will my ultimate result be if I simplify my environment and my activities? And that is our, I would say, our learning for this week. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us here on Mindfulness Mondays here on CVTV. Please, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel as there's a lot of amazing content that is posted regularly. Sending you all lots of love. Mwah.